Is a 10-year-old lens worth getting? Let's find out. Let's go forward here. I see some gloves over there and this is the best season to photograph forgotten gloves. Yeah, nice looking mittens. Oh, that's a, that's a pity. Let's put the camera down and let's put it like that. Let's see what, what I can do with this. Let's see if the bus... Yeah, I think this one is going to be pretty good shot I do have a bus there behind yeah that's not bad yeah maybe this way is better yeah I think I've got it let's continue this way and let's continue our walk and go in the same direction where that tracks go there might be some interesting stuff over there. Let's see what we can find. And what I like about this lens is that it's really nice and small and then the features yes lenses have features come a bit closer and yeah it's the mf clutch which i really like of course it's not the easiest thing to do when you have gloves but you know you can't think of everything with this thing and then also uh, the quality of this lens is really great it's really well built like like i've always said that many many lenses are the modern lenses are and then what's really crucial is that even though this is m zuiko lineup lens it's not a pro lens i would still say that it is a pro quality pro grade lens but let's continue and make some more images and see i think i can get an image of that champagne cork that's on the ground i'll need to go to this side to get a bit of better background whoops let's see what we can do about this and yeah i have the em 10 mark ii and it's a bit small when you need to have some gloves yeah and let's make it full open and here we go i might need to crop that a bit because it's not that close A 12 millimeter focal length gives a really nice field of view. It's wide enough for most uh, situations in a city or in a landscape. But my uh, favorite focal lengths are 17 and 25, and now I'm talking about micro four thirds. I'm more used to making a, a bit tighter crop, so 
always when I'm with the 12 millimeter lens, which is equivalent to uh, 35 millimeter cameras, it is a 24 millimeter lens, which is, as I said, a bit wide for me. But, uh, you know, you need to practice using a really wide angle lens. And since I'm more of a, not the telephoto, but a standard lens guy, this is a, a bit new thing to use this for this kind of photography that I'm doing now. But I hope you have enjoyed the images. And if you haven't, I will have a few more coming up. I don't, I myself, I don't know what it is. But let's see if we can find something out of these great looking windows of the uh, art gallery that's beneath us here. prefer 17 millimeter or 12 millimeter on your micro four thirds body there's a video about the 12 and the 17 millimeter where I compare these two lens or this lens to the 17 millimeter f 1.8 lens you might want to watch that but tell me in the comments down below which one do you prefer let's climb this mountain and see what we can find or what we can see most likely from up above here Ah, not, it's not that high, it's not that high, let's look around what we can do and see, I don't think there is much of a photograph, that might be it, if we take that wall of the pub, let's see what, what that comes out. And again, I was uh, looking at the scene from a uh, narrower field of view and I will crop this image like this. I think it looks better. What do you think? Is it better or not? Let's see if we have time to grab that or the image from of that seagull. Now, we couldn't, you need a longer lens for that. Let him be there. Well, image quality is really great. When photographing with this lens, there's nothing wrong with that. And like I said earlier, that this is almost a pro-grade lens, and actually it is as good as the pro lenses. It's not in their pro lineup, like I already said. And usually uh, lenses, you need to stop down to get the best out of the image quality. But I have to say that with this lens, you don't have to do that. You can just use the f2 if you want, and which is uh, really a good thing. And the smallest aperture is 22. Unfortunately, right now it's such an overcast weather. I can't show you how the star renders with this. So, but for image quality wise, no problem getting this lens. And let's make a conclusion of this lens. There are other options in MZUICO lineup. You have the 12 to 100, you got the 12 to 40, 12 to 45, and then you have 12 to 200. And then of course the kit lens, which starts from 14 is an alternative for this. So why would you get this lens? Well, I would say that this is really small and pro-grade image quality and f2. So it's the fastest to uh, 12 millimeter that Olympus or Mzuiko and OMDS can offer. And that's why I think it's worth checking out if you haven't done it already. But I hope you enjoyed the video and here are some more videos that you could watch from my channel that has something to do with the 12mm f2.0. 
But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.